What's up everybody, Mo here. Today we're making patatas bravas. This is a Spanish potato dish, and really anything from Spain, any potato dish, and anything deep fried is awesome. And we're putting all three of those together. So anyways, let's get started. Now most people at home would cut it flat like that, which is fine, but if you cut it on its side, the pieces will be a lot more even. See? Now it doesn't really matter how you cut it, just pick a shape, pick a size, stick with it. Basically I did two in the middle, and I did about three on the top. It's going to depend on the size of your potatoes, so that worked out pretty nicely. I like little bite-sized pieces. Now this one's a fair bit bigger, so I'm actually going to cut it in half before I cut it up into cubes. So I'm going to cut it down the middle, or as best in the middle if I can get it. Then I'm going to go one, two, I don't have a great knife by the way, so it doesn't look as professional as other people, but it's fine really. Then one, two, that should do. A lot of little cubes. If you've got a lot of little tiny scraps, don't worry about it. You can still fry them. They're the nice little crispy bits. Now you don't really need a certain recipe, it's just as much as you want to make. I'm going to use three potatoes. So let's go to the next step. Now it's basically keeping them in water until you need it. You can do this a day ahead of time, you can just leave them in water, it's fine. Okay, so get your potatoes in boiling water. You want to boil them for like maybe 7 to 12 or 13 minutes. It's going to depend on the shape and the size and basically how you cook it overall on your cooktop. You want them like 90% done, almost close to mashed potatoes. Once they are done, we're going to transfer it to my favorite gadget, a cooling rack. You want them to cool completely on the rack if you've got the time. If not, stash them in the fridge so they're pretty much not cold, but a lot more cool down where they're not hot anymore. If you do want to keep them till the next day and they're cold, you can, but make sure they're room temperature when you cook them. Okay, next up, it's going to be the spice mixture. Most of the time, like at least 95% of the time, I'm just salt and maybe occasional pepper. But once in a while, I like something a little bit different. So in the first batch, I'm going to put fresh black pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder and a bit of paprika and cayenne. Now I'm going to make a few quick sauces. So the first one's going to start off with mayonnaise. And by the way, this ramekin is from Brazil. You can't get it in Canada. And ketchup. It's a very typical sauce. I know what you're thinking. Mo, it's not very creative. Come on, I'm watching a cooking channel. I could do this when I was five. Well, I'll tell you what my old friend in the kitchen, Amario, said. How dare you, sire? Actually, his name was Amar, and he said that quite a lot. Besides, this is just one of the three things I'm going to do. I mean, yeah, it's very basic, but it works, doesn't it? This is a great thing to use. Okay, the next one. Now this is basically pre-made garlic that's been crushed in a food processor with some oil and salt. It's very garlicky and concentrated and it looks like that. So next up, we're gonna add again, yes, mayonnaise. Okay, we're gonna make a chipotle mayo basically. Now I've got hot smoked paprika and chipotle powder in here. This stuff is really spicy, so you only gotta add a little bit. I recommend you taste it and adjust just before you actually place it on the final dish. Now you're gonna be deep frying in 350 to 375. Basically, put it on medium for about five to seven minutes, or do what I'm doing and use a thermometer. Once you place your first batch of potatoes in, turn up the heat to medium high to high, just because you really want to catch up, this will make the temperature drop a lot. You can see I just put my potatoes in, and it's barely even reaching 300. So it went down like, what, 60 degrees, just like that. Then again, this is used oil, I used it a few days ago, you can reuse it, but it will work a little differently, so you can see I gotta change my temperature and adjust. The nice thing is it's brown, It'll give you that golden brown shape. That's why we're using fresh oil versus older oil. It doesn't have that nice color. A few ways you can tell they're done. One, they're golden brown, basically like this. Two, they're kind of floating a bit to the top. That's another way to tell they're done. Three, do what I do. Take one out, let it go for like 10 or 20 seconds, and actually taste it. These are good enough, but you can leave it in here for a little longer to give it a little bit more of a crispier color. Now once they're done, they're going, that's right, you guessed it, to a cooling rack. Not for too long, just for like 5 or 10 seconds to let the oil drain out. Make sure when you move all of them here, you do what most restaurants don't do too well or at all. Season them right away with your little mixture. Now that is a pretty sight. We're going to make it prettier. So who doesn't love ketchup and home fries? Everybody. So we're going to add a little bit of ketchup. That's my third sauce. Cheating? Who cares? Next up, you're going to add your ketchup and mayo sauce. Don't know what it's officially called, but hey, I call it good. And then finally, on the other side, we're going to put a little chipotle mayo. That one's a little bit thick. If you want to thin it out with some lemon or water, you can. We can make a little paste like this. It's, it's really fine. It's up to you. There we go. And for my final step, I'm going to garnish with just a little bit of chives, just something to make it look a little bit prettier and greener for a photo. And I remember eating these with toothpicks, just for some fun. And that's it guys, there's your patatas bravas. This is an awesome dish to try. It's a great alternative to your regular potato dishes and your other deep fried. Give it a try guys and visit moes-kitchen.blogspot.ca for a full recipe guys. Have a good one.